Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course. Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you. Another offering. Off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, indeed, folks. Same type of you series videos I've been doing for a little while. I'll go over there travel food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff, then, folks. I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that time I'm doing this, folks, I'm not going to lie. We're nowhere near Christmas. We're not even in the middle of November yet. But we'll get to that. Folks, it's super simple format. I'm going to go over there and try out food and or drink items for you. Well, some new and so, I'm going to on about it for a bit. Well, some new and all that, I'm inside my truck. And well, some new and all that, folks, eh. I'm wearing super grody work clothes. Typically, when I'm inside the truck and I'm wearing grody work clothes, that means I was on my way home from work and I found some shit to review for you. And it's kind of the case, I guess, although I didn't actually buy this uh, on my way home from work. I actually bought it at work. Uh, I was in the break room at my work. And I saw it and I was like, yeah, all right, I'll review that. But what is it? Um, and like I said, at the time that I'm doing this, it is... November 12th, 2024, okay? We're not even proper. If you want to consider that the middle of November, but come on now. But nobody cares about Thanksgiving until, you know, the actual day of, and then it's gone, and then it's straight to Christmas. And what would that be in the case? Boom! It's from Little Debbie's. It is one of their Christmas tree cakes. Yeah, okay, sure, man. Um... Why, I would say why not, but there's reasons. Like, and mind you, I'm not against Christmas or anything like that. You know, it's holidays, good things, people. But, like, I'll, if I'm being strictly, you know, 100% with you folks, I probably prefer Thanksgiving to Christmas at this point in my life. Christmas is neat when you're a kid because you get lots of gifts and nobody expects much from you except to, you know, look adorable. Now I'm damn near 40 and it's like I got a million little cousins and... Yeah, nieces and nephews, well, not nieces and nephews, exactly, but, you know, I, all the stuff, and it's like, I don't have money, so, Thanksgiving, people are just like, I just show up, and I just get to eat food, because nobody wants me to cook, but maybe I'll bring one of these, but here's the thing, this got me thinking, and because this happened to be right next to it, so one of these just, boom, one of these, a zebra cake, so I'm actually going to do a review and a comparison, okie doke. Uh, now, I know I like zebra cakes. I'm a big fan of zebra cakes, although I don't eat them very often these days because, again, almost 40 years old. But, let's get a thing for the thing here. It's been a while since I've had a zebra cake. Probably since my gas station days, which, yeah, that's a while. All right, let's get a thing for the thing here. We got the two things, and we'll do like this, and we'll kind of... Ha, 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 ha. Let's try them out. And mind you, I'm sure I've had the tr Christmas tree things, but... It tastes an awful lot like a zebra cake, from what I remember. The only immediate thing I could think of that might make it different is the uh, the sprinkles on top. It adds like a different textural quality to it. But I mean, yeah, it's a nice thing. It's a nice thing because it's essentially a fucking zebra cake. And zebra cakes are really good. But for those unfamiliar, you got like your white cake, you got your cream inside, and then you've got like your sort of frosting exterior, <clears throat> if you want to actually call it that, that keeps it all together. And the reality, of course, is that it's all just a shitload of chemicals that have been forged into this rough shape. But they're tasty chemicals. Uh, typically, when it comes between Little Debbie and Hostess, I'm more Hostess than Little Debbie, but Little Debbie does have their standout items, to be sure. And I think zebra cakes are one of them. And I don't think that there's, like, a real good equivalent on the hostess end. Certain things they share, you know. But zebra cakes are good, and, I mean, I like this. 
The cake is soft. About the only thing, honestly, that I'm not that big in are those sprinkles. I just, I'm not big. I do like sprinkles in certain instances, but I don't know that I'm big on them in this. I mean, I guess they make a little bit more festive, but flavor-wise, they don't really seem to add anything to it. It's a nice tasting white cake treat with a decent, made, it's very sweet. Got some decent taste in frosting and stuff like that. And, you know, the filling is nice. I mean, it's a simple thing, you know, but it is what it is. You know, it's not going out of its way to try to be anything it's not. But how does it compare against the proper, the zebra cake? About the same. Ooh. Zebra cake, for sure. Um, two things immediately struck me. Number one, chocolate. It's got the chocolate uh, sort of icing, uh, you know, flair on it. And that's not just strictly decorative, like, that actually does impact the flavor. And even though it's mostly sort of like a, you know, again, a white cake kind of vanilla sort of flavor, one thing that I learned from watching cooking shows is that, like, because our brains associate chocolate and vanilla so closely together, they actually kind of enhance one another when you go over there and add in a little bit. And so I actually feel like the... The frosting, or not the frosting, but like especially the filling and like the cake actually tastes a little bit more vibrant than on the Christmas tree ones. Yeah. I don't know, it almost tastes like a little bit fresher. Uh, mind you, again, it's all prepackaged bullshit, you know, is what it is. There's nothing fresh about it, but, like, hmm. I don't know. I just feel like the Christmas tree one feels a little bit more bogged down. I almost wonder if it's a surface area thing, since the zebra cake is just basically a puck. You know, it's just, you can bite it from any angle, it's going to give you the same experience. Whereas with the Christmas tree, because it's effectively a, you know, point, it's tree shape, it's kind of, you know, you're getting some more here and some more there. I kind of feel like this just does a better job of distributing the flavor. Ah, interesting. Um, they are, however, extremely similar. They are fundamentally the same thing with the exception of the chocolate on the zebra cakes. Um, all right. Well, three questions have to be asked. Would I get them again? Would I recommend them? Which do I prefer? Sure. Sure. Zebra cakes. I think for me personally, like, I don't mind the Christmas tree ones, but like, and I know, you know, they're, again, it's festive, it's for the thing, but really the only thing that they kind of have going for them over the zebra cakes are the sprinkles, and that's if you're into those sprinkles. And I'm not really into them, so if anything, they kind of take away from the experience. But I think it's a combination of, like, I think the zebra cakes have a better form factor. And I think that, you know, them having the, the little added chocolate, you know, to kind of liven it up just a little bit, give it a little extra dimension. I think it's just, genuinely, I think those are better. Not by leaps and bounds, because, again, they are very similar. But I think for me personally, yeah, like, I you know, I, I, I would stick with the normal ones rather than getting the, the seasonal festive ones. But that's just me, and I don't know. Just, but if I'm recommending them, though, I mean, and again, I'm talking, well, I guess I'm talking about both for the most part. Um, I mean, sure, both of them are good options. Like, I don't, I don't know. Again, I would recommend the zebra cake over the Christmas tree cake, but I don't think the Christmas tree cakes are bad. They're perfectly fine, especially within the realm of, like, those Hostess, Little Debbie, you know, type of snack cakes. I would honestly say that, again, I think they're kind of relatively high up there for me. Um, maybe not in the upper, upper tier, but I do think that they're nice. And, like, you know, I guess if nothing else, this review is more to just be like, 
Hey, do you like zebra cakes? Well, if you want a slightly different version that you may like a little bit more or may like a little bit less, the Christmas tree ones are there too. Yay. Yeah. Because, I mean, and to be fair, it's not just on Little Debbie Host that does it too. All of them do it. You know, just take the basic recipe of shit you already got, put it into a different form. Boom, Bob's your uncle, new item. But anyway, five things before you get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day, spectacular rest of your week, monumental rest of your month, spendous rest of your year. Folks, go over there themselves a truly Christmas tree tastic rest of your life. Because yay, Christmas. Or to be fair, there's Hanukkah, there's Kwanzaa, whatever the hell you want to celebrate. I, I personally, you know, do what you want to do. Final two things. Number one, try to bring some positivity into the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But what you do if you can't do it all the time, I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you're going to do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. Folks, not always the easiest thing in the world to not be an asshole. Trust me. I know it. I live it. I'm out there every day with you in it. Life can be stressful and frustrating and just bullshit sometimes, folks. And when we find ourselves in situations where we have to deal with said bullshit, it's important we go over there whenever possible. <sighs> Take a step back. Try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives. Hopefully, do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks. Do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, what's your personal favorite Little Debbie treat? For me, it's probably the oatmeal cream pies. Damn, do I like those things. And the funny thing is, it came out with, like, the double-decker ones, and it's like, oh, that should be even better. But it was kind of a bit too much. You know, there's something to be said for, you know, for a little subtlety, a little restraint. But let me know what your personal favorite is. Anyway.